AI has blown my mind again. In this video, I'm sharing another set of incredible AI apps that are so impressive. You'll have to see them to believe they're real. I'm gonna show them to you. We're gonna talk a lot about them, but just imagine an app that analyzes everything you see, hear, or say to become the ultimate personal assistant, or one that directly interacts with your computer to handle all those routine tasks for you. It's seriously exciting stuff, so let's dive in. Here are the 10 AI apps I've been loving this November. Now, number one is Claude's AI computer use. I've already shared how Claude AI has become my team's go-to tool for copywriting, but this Anthropic creation is way more than a writing assistant. Just a couple weeks ago, Anthropic rolled out two updated versions of Claude AI, which now allows developers granted access to and control over certain aspects of their computers. Through the API, developers can now guide Claude to operate computers just like a person by viewing the screen, moving the cursor, clicking and typing. Basically, it's available for a developer now, but the way I see it, it's like it's it's just crazy. I interviewed someone who was building the same tool for customer support because a lot of things that we do on our computers are very repetitive actions, like check my email, reply to email, add this to calendar, check the finance, see how how much money is left in the account, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's all very manual, and now we'll be able to do that just by telling our computer, go to my email check all the emails, reply, add things to calendar, return my Amazon packages, click on return, ask for a refund, etc. And it is basically the first public beta of an AI model with computer use capabilities, which is a huge milestone. While it's still experimental and a bit rough around the edges, Anthropic is releasing it early to gather feedback from developers and fine tune the experience. Instead of designing specific tools for each task, they're teaching Claude general computer skills. So it can work across a variety of standard programs built for humans. And I have haven't had a chance to test this feature yet because it's developer exclusive, but I just can't imagine the huge impact it'll have when it's available to everyone. Tell me in the comments what will be the first thing you'll delegate to an AI like this. In this new AI world, just knowing how to write effective prompts for ChatGPT can save you hours of work. But now you don't even have to write the prompts yourself. For anyone looking to delegate AI marketing tasks intelligently, HubSpot and the Marketing Against the Grain podcast have created a completely free curated collection of AI prompts. These will seriously level up your communication with AI because the quality of your prompt directly impacts the results you get from AI generated content. In this library, you'll find 20 high quality prompts for delegating tasks in areas like marketing, sales strategy, branding and advertising, business analytics, pitching and investing, website strategy, and email marketing. Personally, I love the prompt for engaging prospects with an email drip campaign. Just copied it into GPT, added my inputs, and it wrote three perfect perfect sales emails. I'll leave a link to the collection in the description. It's completely free, so be sure to check it out. A big thanks to HubSpot for providing this amazing AI prompt library and for sponsoring today's video. Now the next tool, I've used a ton in October and November, and I'm thrilled to recommend it to you. It's called Get Magic and basically connects you with top tier personal assistants who can help you with all kinds of tasks, organizing your calendar, managing emails, onboarding clients. She did uh, research on Hawaii Airbnbs for me. She helped me with my scientific research. She helped me analyze products on Amazon. She was handling my social media tasks and more. These assistants are the best of the best, highly vetted, top 1% of applicants, proactive. My assistant reaches out to me every day saying like, hey, how can I help you? Oh, she was also listing my old stuff on eBay. But they all have their own custom built AI assistant that boosts their productivity and efficiency. And this is what I noticed right away, like as if she's been working as a personal assistant for many, many years. Like it's such a cool experience because I know how much those assistants cost to hire a highly professional assistant in the US. Now you can access that type of professionalism at a lower cost thanks to AI. And it's truly the best of both worlds, the reliability and skill of a human assistant combined with the speed of and precision of AI. So my assistant is based in the Philippines, but, but because she's using AI, she sounds just like an American. And also she works my hours, nine to six California time. The next app is called Palette FM, and it's an AI tool designed to add color to black and white photos, making it easy to give old images a refreshing look. It's straightforward to use, no downloads. You just simply upload your image and it suggests different color palettes. And it's a cool app to use if you have old family photos and want to add color to them. The next app 
app I want to mention is actually the app that went viral in October. It's called Pika app. I don't know if you've seen this video that I made. It went viral on almost every Instagram account. I was a little bit late to catch up with that trend because honestly, it's just, it's so much happening on the AI market these days, but I think it's really, really cool. So if you're looking for a creative ad, or if you're just looking for something creative for your social media, try Pika app, try that effect. It's free. When I was using it, the wait time was super long, like almost a day, but you can pay and get the results faster. The next app is called Socratic, and it's a fantastic app for studying powered by AI to help you learn through tailored educational materials. You can input questions by typing, speaking, or even snapping a photo of your assignment. The app then analyzes your input to provide relevant study guides, videos, and step-by-step -step solutions across subjects like science, math, literature, and social studies. Socratic also categorizes and evaluates your questions to to predict and recommend concepts that could help with future questions. Originally designed for high school and college students needing support when teachers or tutors aren't around, Socratic is helpful for anyone who's learning something new in today's world of lifelong education. The next tool really blew me away and even gave me a bit of a scare. It's probably close to what critics of AI mean when they warn us about AI taking over our lives. Here's what Rewind AI does. It runs quietly in the background of your phone, capturing your screen and audio. Then it compresses, transcribes, encrypts, and stores your data locally, so hopefully no one gets access to it. What you get is an assistant that's everywhere, listening to everything, capturing notes, summarizing information, managing tasks, in the background. On one hand, it's incredibly convenient. You almost never have to worry about losing, forgetting or missing something important. But on the other hand, how comfortable are you knowing something else has access to every detail of your life? Let's talk about it in the comments. Is it a very powerful assistant or does it push the boundaries too far? On the other hand, I feel like, you know, apps are listening to us all the time. It has happened to me so many times when we discuss something with my husband and I open my phone and I see an ad for something we just talked about. It's like really crazy. Ghost Rider, can I mention an app that I built for myself? So basically I read a lot of texts and I write them in Russian and English. Whenever I try to use ChatGPT to just create a text out of my voice, a Ghost Rider, which basically trained on the texts online that I liked. I like when someone's funny. I I like texts that are very structured. I like texts that use simple words. I like texts that use emojis. And I use this app on a work day. I would use it maybe five to seven times to compose an email, to write a text, to create instructions for my team. And the text looks so clean. And also because I use Telegram a lot, I don't know if you guys are using it, but all my team is on Telegram. I read a lot of Telegram uh, channels because this app is within an app that I'm already using. It makes it so, so, so convenient. And uh, I'm testing testing it on my students, I'm testing it on my followers, and everyone seems to like it. So if you work with text a lot, and if you like Telegram, go ahead and uh, type in Ghost Rider on Telegram and let me know what you think about this app. But I'm super proud that we built it. And again, for me, it's really important that I use it several times a day and that my subscribers are loving it. The next app is called a Formula Bot, and it's a productivity tool that takes the headache out of complicated Excel formulas. Just describe the problem you want to solve in plain language language and it converts your request into a formula in seconds. You can also upload, connect and combine data across multiple sources, then chat with your data to quickly transform text into charts, analysis, tables, or even advanced models. It also can create scripts for various needs, build SQL queries for databases, generate random data sets, read and make changes to documents, and transfer data over the internet. I wish I had this when I was 20 and when I was studying at a university, because we had to create so many formulas and they would, you know, look at our formulas and tell us like, oh, this is not effective. Like you can write better. Oh, this would be such a huge help. Okay, the next tool is called Namelix. As you know, I am launching, or you don't know, I'm launching a kid's um, healthy food brand. Uh, it's actually a healthy snack food brand. We're working on gluten-free, low sugar, uh, healthy snacks that kids can take to their schools you can put into lunch boxes if you've been following me for a while you know how frustrated i am every time i see school lunches here in the us i give emily some bars but what i realized she also wants a lot of candy all the time so we came up with a concept of a healthy donut we're doing healthy chocolate for kids so fingers crossed but basically coming up with a brand name was 
pretty challenging. So we're actually using this app called Namelix to brainstorm ideas with my co-founder. And, and here are the names that it's giving me. Fana bars, I like this one. <laughs> is really nice. True food, fun food, good bites. And you can just scroll and scroll and scroll and comes up with more names and it automatically created logos for me. So cool. Let me send it to my co-founder real quick. I'm gonna send this to my co-founder real quick and we'll move on. And let's wrap up this video with an app that lets you stay organized and uh, be in control. This AI productivity tool keeps you on track with all tasks. Connect your calendar, add tasks, and connect the apps you use on a daily basis. Time Hero makes it easy and automatic to create an adaptive work plan for getting things done. Time Hero's magic is that it automatically builds an action plan for when to work on what, based on your current availability. If things change, tasks are automatically rescheduled into the future while keeping you aware of impact and risk level. Plus, you can track your team workload and capacity at a glance, seeing who's busy and forecasting upcoming demands. This tool offers a realistic, adaptable way to stay focused on your goals and manage time effectively, individually or with your team. So if you're on a lookout for a smart assistant for planning and productivity, give this app a try. These are all the AI apps I wanted to share today. If you're using any AI tools that are worth mentioning, let me know down in the comments below. I always like to discover something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and see you soon in my next video. Bye.